A few months ago, I made a video about the benefits of infrared saunas. I had this fancy infrared sauna in my mum's living room, taking up quite a lot of space. So after selling it, I felt a bit disappointed because I was missing all the benefits of heat therapy. So then when this popped up on my social media ads, I decided to give an infrared sauna blanket a go. And in this video, I'll give details of the infrared sauna blanket that I've got. I'll explain the benefits of infrared light, some of the pros and cons and how it compares to a regular sauna. And also at the end, I'll tell you if I think that it's worth it. The blanket I'm using in this video is the My High blanket. And this particular brand was designed by two Australian guys because they really enjoyed using infrared saunas and they wanted to be able to have that experience at home. So let's look at these blankets and see how they work. Unlike sitting in a traditional sauna, which uses steam or heat, this blanket uses far infrared light. And this light is invisible to the human eye and sits just beyond visible light in terms of frequency. And infrared light is perceived by the body as heat. And before you think that far infrared light sounds a bit dangerous, then it is used by massage professionals to warm and relax the body before treatment. And it's also a similar frequency of light you see in pub gardens and outside to keep people warm. And before I explain the benefits of infrared light on the body, then I do go into a lot of detail in a video that I've made about it up here. So I'll cover the basics in this one and you may wanna also watch that one. But first, let's look at the features of an infrared sauna blanket. Essentially, this is like a giant heated waterproof sleeping bag, although you definitely wouldn't sleep in it. And this one costs 399 pounds. The material is waterproof inside and out, and it measures 180 centimeters long by 90 centimeters wide. It's got a little cutout at the top where your head pokes out, and then there's Velcro at the bottom and side to secure you in and keep the heat in. And then weaved inside the waterproof material is the infrared light heating elements. It uses a standard home plug socket and it has nine settings. There's a timer which goes from 30 minutes to 60 minutes in five minute increments. And the blanket takes about five to 10 minutes to heat up. When using it, it's advised to wear clothing. So something with long legs, long sleeves and socks. And this is so the body isn't in direct contact with the blanket and also to absorb the perspiration. And I'll admit it feels a bit weird wearing clothes inside a sauna product, but I do as I'm told. And it can be used on top of a bed. I use mine on the floor with a pillow covered in two towels to absorb the perspiration from my head and neck. I use it on setting seven, which seems to be a good temperature for me. I get a really decent sweat but it's not too uncomfortable. I have tried setting nine once and it was so hot. I just felt like an enormous jacket potato. And I use it two to three times a week for about 30 minutes. And at the end of the session, I am absolutely drenched. It's easy to clean once you're finished, wipe it down, leave it to cool, which is about 10 or 15 minutes, then fold it up and pack it away. It weighs about 6.7 kilograms and takes up this much space, which is pretty decent. And it comes with its own carry case. And then finally, something to bear in mind if you are concerned about EMF. EMF stands for electromagnetic field, and it's the amount of electrical frequency a device gives off. And I don't know enough about EMF to give an answer in this video. And I've been searching all over for someone to give me an answer. But this blanket gives off a reading of 0.3 to 1.5 micro Teslas. So it's coming up slightly different based on where I place it on the blanket. So if you are into EMF and those figures make any sense to you, they make no sense to me, then hopefully you found that little bit helpful. The main thing to mention here is that the blanket has been tested and it is safe to worldwide standards. The main thing that gets me really excited about far infrared light is because it stimulates heat shock proteins and that in turn has a positive effect on the immune system. When the body gets hot, heat shock proteins are increased, which in turn increases lymphocytes, neutrophils and basophils. And these are all types of white blood cells which help protect the body against infection. 
as the body gets older, the proteins in our cells can become damaged or dysfunctional. And the heat shock proteins, which are stimulated by sauna use or an infrared sauna blanket, that can help prevent the damage to the cells. It has been found that people with higher levels of heat shock proteins are more likely to live to 100. And so if that's your kind of vibe, then it could be a great reason to use one of these. You may be familiar with the comforting feeling of applying something warm to an area that you've got pain or discomfort in. And basically getting in this blanket is that feeling times 10. And then there's this video from a couple of guys called Bob and Brad, and they're explaining the benefits of far infrared light for neck and back pain. And so what they're explaining in that video would be applicable to a far infrared blanket as well. And just a little side note, I've been using the blanket to warm my body up before a good stretch session. And just recently I've been learning the splits and to lay in here for about 20 minutes before the stretch session, I just find that I'm able to go deeper into the stretch because my muscles, tendons and ligaments, they're all warm and supple before I do the stretching. If you like the heat, you will love this. It's a great opportunity to lay and do nothing. And with this relaxation comes a decrease in stress hormones. So it's this holistic approach where it has a really positive effect on the body and mind and our overall health. The benefits that I've just mentioned, they're for all types of heat therapy, whether that be traditional or infrared. But the next benefits I'm gonna talk about are infrared specific. Infrared heat penetrates the skin 30 millimetres or 3 centimetres. That's 10 times more heat penetration than from a regular sauna, which only penetrates the skin 3 millimetres. And this is because light is entering the skin rather than direct heat. And with that deeper penetration comes more pain management and relaxation and an increase in blood flow to the muscles and joints. And then a great thing that I found about the infrared sauna blanket, as opposed to an infrared sauna or even a sauna, is that the infrared light is penetrating the entire body, apart from the head. When I was sitting in my infrared sauna, the light would come from the back and the sides and it would miss where I was sitting. Next, I'll cover some benefits that have been outlined on the internet, but I will admit I'm not too sure about them myself. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist or anything similar. I'm just someone looking to live a healthy and cheerful life. It's said that an infrared sauna is seven times more effective at detoxing than a regular sauna. And like I mentioned in my other video, it's debatable whether sweating can actually be classed as detoxification. I am definitely not here to give the definitive answer and I have looked at so many studies and articles but there's so much conflicting advice. The ultimate goal here is to find a scientist who's qualified to give an answer and then they're going to put me in a lab and make me sweat and then I would make a video about it and give you guys an answer so detoxing sweating doctor person I'm looking for you. It's said that a 30 minute session in the blanket can burn up to 300 calories, which is the same as a 30 minute jog. So generally this point makes me feel a little bit uncomfortable. Firstly, a 30 minute jog for me, it does burn around 300 calories. So that's correct. But me lying in the sauna for 30 minutes, it burns around 40 calories, which is really far from 600 calories. Maybe it's because I'm reasonably fit and when I lay in the sauna blanket, my heart rate doesn't go that high. Or maybe it's because I like the heat and I'm quite good with it. Who knows? So for me, it seems a bit unrealistic that you can burn 300 calories in 30 minutes, but I suppose different people will get different results. My only issue here is by comparing something that you just lay in and do nothing with physical exercise, when we're running, we're using muscle, we're building muscle. When we're laying in a blanket, we're essentially just laying in a blanket. So let's talk about the pros and cons of an infrared sauna blanket, in particular, the My High Sauna Blanket. The pros are it stimulates heat shock proteins. It's a great way of getting acclimatized to heat, especially if you're gonna do an endurance event in a hot country. It's affordable, coming in at 400 pounds. 
comparing that to a infrared sauna, which could be a couple of thousand pounds. You can use it at home in a small place. It's especially good for right now for those who cannot or do not want to mix in communal spaces. It saves time with no travel to the gym or a spa. It's a quick setup, cheap to run, you sweat loads, you can listen to music, audiobooks, watch TV or a film. It's a full body, whole body infrared treatment, front, back and sides, and it's well made, although the controller is a bit plasticky. And the not so good bits are, you could get claustrophobic. There are some pressure points that can get really hot, such as the back of your heels and your lower back. That's the bit that's touching the mat. You can't share the sauna experience like you would do in a traditional sauna. The timer doesn't have a buzzer, so you need an additional timer. A downside for me is that I have to wear clothes. It does feel a bit weird, but I got over it. Some people might not like laying in their own sweat. You will need a new outfit and a new towel every time you want to use the sauna blanket. So if you're using it four or five times a week, you've basically got four or five drenched outfits in your laundry bin. 400 pound could be a lot of money for some people. And finally, don't get sucked into the calorie burn. I don't think it's a great reason. And I think it's a bit of cheeky marketing. The final part of this video, is a sauna blanket worth it? This one may come down to personal preference. Some people love the heat and others not so much. And some people may not enjoy lying in their soggy clothes, whilst others revel in the sogginess. For me, it's all about those heat shock proteins it's an investment in my health and my immune system. So for me, it's valuable and it's worth the money. And I've also read some reviews from people with arthritis and autoimmune diseases who are getting great results in terms of managing pain and helping with sleep. Ultimately, I think you're gonna know if you're gonna love this or not. And also if you're gonna use it, it's no good if you're gonna spend 400 pounds on something, use it just a few times, and then it's gonna sit under your stairs collecting dust. I really hope you found this video useful if you're thinking about buying an infrared sauna blanket and I have linked the My Hire blanket in the video description. If you've got any questions about it or if you're using one yourself and you're experiencing benefits then I'd love to hear from you in the comments box. Thanks very much for watching and hopefully I'll see you at the next video. Mm -hmm.